hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time we're going to be doing a feel and repair on this set so of course the first thing that i'm doing is going in with my extra extra coarse drill bit and just going in and removing the acrylic from this nail that way we can just replace it make sure that whenever you're doing this though that you um are gentle whenever you're filing it off because you don't want to over file so make sure that you pay attention um you will be able to see once you get to the natural nail but you could also soak it off whatever is best for you um i'm just make i always just make sure that i'm super super gentle when i do it um after that we're gonna go in and just remove the gel polish from the rest of the nails and then we also did the foil over it but we just file it off like we normally do um like i said this is the extra extra coarse safety drill bed and i am using it at 15,000 rpms
Alrighty, so as you can see, the gel polish is already off, but I'm going in and filing the acrylic down just a little bit more because I am going to go in with a colored acrylic or like with the cover blush acrylic by JCB to Concepts and I don't want the nails to be super thick, so that's why I'm filing this down a little bit more. Alrighty, and after that, we're going to go in with a cuticle pusher, and this is going to just expose the new growth to help with reducing lifting. So make sure that you don't ever, ever, ever skip this step. As always, you can use a metal cuticle pusher, wood, plastic, as long as it can be disinfected or thrown away. Um, after this, we're going to go in with the 180 sanding band. Remember, you don't want to use anything more coarse than a 180 because you don't want to over file your clients now. And we're just going in and removing that shine from the natural nail making sure that you also don't over file because we're literally just removing the shine so don't overthink it um the reason why we have to do this is because our body produces a lot of oils those oils happen to be on our natural nails so if you don't remove the shine and you just apply the nail over a shiny um, or the acrylic over a shiny natural nail your acrylic is gonna pop off maybe that same day or even the next day y'all if you're lucky the same the next day but if not it would be like the same day so um like i said we're just going in with a 180 and the sending bands those you do throw away is just a little band that you put at the end of your drill bed and you throw those away after each client um and then after that we just dust the nails off and I'm going to go in to replace the broken nail. So just size the tip. If it's fit, we just apply the glue, place it down. Once the glue dry, which is usually just a few seconds, we let go of the nail and then we measure it against each other and then cut it down. And then I'm going to cut the size down as well to make it into a coffin shape. And then I'm going to reshape it. Um, and then after that, we're going to go in with the primer and then the acrylic. Um, but remember that when you're doing this step right here, you want to make sure that you're using a straight edge nail clipper. Because if you use the regular curved one, it's going to mess up your shape. Or you could also use a little pair of scissors. Whatever works for you best is completely fine. Um, but now we're going in at a 90 degree angle on both sides and the free edge to make it into that perfect coffin shape. Alrighty, so after that, we're going to go in with the primer and we're going to apply that to the natural nail only. Um, and this is the JCB to Concepts primer. As always, I recommend that you just use the same primer as whatever acrylic brand that you're using. And then next, we're going to go in with the acrylic. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and just do a layer of the clear underneath. So next time, I can just easily file away the cover blush that I'm going to be using and then it'll still be clear underneath like the rest of the nails. And then this this um, next one that I'm going to use, like I said, is the JC Beauty Concepts Cover Blush. Really pretty color. I've been using it a lot. You guys know that it's my all-time favorite color right now. It just goes so well with everyone's skin color and it's just the perfect nude color. So again, that is Cover Blush by JC Beauty Concepts. I do have a promo code for them, which is Get No 32. So I'm just going to apply this over all of the nails and um, I think that's pretty much it. So as you can see, I placed the first made right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meets and then brushed it all the way down the next one i applied closer to the cuticle area and then we're just going to make sure that we have a good coverage um that way you know we, the color doesn't look patchy and this is why i filed you know the acrylic the clear acrylic down a little bit more this time because like i said i didn't want the nails to be super thick since i'm having to add this much of the cover blush acrylic so after this i'm going to go in with 
a little bit of the clear to encapsulate this acrylic and this cover color this one is a cord color so you don't have to encapsulate it but a lot of the time I like to go in and encapsulate it because I don't want to use up all of my uh, cover blush acrylic because I use it a lot so that's why I go in and just encapsulate it with the clear so I'm basically going to do that on all of the nails um, and then as always y'all whenever you're doing it it's super important that you look at your nail from different angles so you know exactly where you need to add more product because we don't want those nails to break off super super easily if they're too um, thin and flat so make sure that you pay attention to that um, and we're gonna do that like I said on all of the nails and also the brush that I'm using is the number 10 oval brush by alpha brush you guys know that I use it a lot and it's one of my favorite brushes so be sure to go check them out um, but next for this uh, middle finger as you can see I'm going in with a good size bead um, just because I want to make sure that like I said I get a good coverage so I placed that first bit in the middle next I went one one around the cuticle area same thing patting it down and then brushing it down towards the tip and then just adding more acrylic wherever it's needed until you get that good coverage and then going in and encapsulating the acrylic so remember the key to applying your acrylic is making sure that for one you're using a good brush and also second is that you're using the correct liquid to powder ratio i do have a video on that so i'll be sure to leave the link down below for you guys and then also next is making sure that um whenever you place your acrylic down that you're not brushing down too hard because you don't want to wipe the product off the nail so make sure that you're super super gentle and then also another thing is that you want to make sure that you watch where you're applying the acrylic don't just apply just to apply make sure that you know where you're applying it and why you're applying it you know if you apply it closer to the cuticle area it could be that it's still too thin or maybe you don't have a strong enough apex or maybe the tip is too thin but you need to know exactly why you're adding the product where you're adding it um that way you're not just you know putting on more acrylic to making to make the nail look more bulky like you don't want to do that so um we pretty much just like i said for the million time i'm just going to do this on all of the nails so i'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch
Alrighty, so after we finish applying the acrylic, I'm going to go in with my 8080 hand file and we're just going to go in and reshape all of the nails. Of course, going in on the sides at exactly a 90 degree angle. That way we get that perfect coffin shape. So after we finish reshaping the nails, I go in with my e-file and I am using the fine drill bed um, and I'm using the Scarlet Melody Susie nail drill as well and I'm using it at 
10,000 RPMs. So as always, we go around the cuticle area first, going from the right side all the way over to the left side, going back and forth to seal the acrylic around the cuticle area because we don't want to get any lifting. Um, whenever I first started doing nails, I feel like I was doing everything correctly. Um, and I think this was the part that I was missing because I was scared to go around the cuticle area. So I would like, I guess, act like I was doing it, but not really. Um, so I was getting lifting and then one day, like I started actually paying attention to what I was doing and I was like, yeah, this is my problem. I'm not following good enough around the cuticle area to where, you know, any little water, moisture, anything that you use, whether it's a face serum, lotion, if it gets underneath the nail, it's going to cause the nail to lift and it's going to come right off so you want to make sure that you seal this cuticle area really good even if you have to slow your drill down all the way down um, to be able to go around there that's completely fine just as long as you get it done because like i said you don't want your nails to lift um, and then of course following the rest of the nails to make sure that they're all nice and smooth and usually my nails after i apply the acrylic they're already smooth but i just go in and follow them you know to make sure that that they're all nice and even. Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the buffer and this is going to get rid of any of those scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So just making sure that we buff really, really, really good.
All right, so after we finish buffing, you just dust the nails off and wipe them off with an alcohol wipe or you can have your client go wash their hands, whatever works for you best. And then after this, we're gonna go in with the polish. So this is gonna be like a 90s, early 2000s look with the different line designs. And I'm pretty sure everybody has had this, even if it was just on one finger, cause I know that's how I was. My very first set that I ever got, it was, I had a little orange design on my, I think it was a French tip, just a white French tip. And then I had like the little orange lines with some glitter in there as well. Y'all, I, like I said, I think everybody has had some sort of, you know, similar design to this. But for this, as you can see, I'm going in with different colors. I'm using the pink, the blue, the orange, and a teal color. And all of these are by Madame Glam. I know this blue right here is called aqua azul the pink one is the bright barbie pink um the teal i honestly can't remember what it's called and then the orange i think is perfect orange but i'll be sure to look them up and let you guys know if anyone is interested but i do have a promo code for madam glam which is get nailed and you guys know that i absolutely love their gel polishes they're definitely my favorite they go on so good the coverage is really good and they are worth every single penny and also they last so long y'all like i i don't think i think honestly it's been like maybe two polishes that i've actually like ran out of but that was like my white and my black um and i think a pink one it was like one of my very first pinks which was like angel wings i used to use that one a lot but other than that like they last so long um but after this i'm gonna go ahead and cure this hand for 30 seconds and then we're gonna do that same thing on the other hand and the as far as like the colors i'm just randomly applying them on there um i'm not you know doing any sort of pattern or anything just whatever ghosts or whatever polish i pick up first is what i'm using Alrighty, so next I'm going to go in and I'm going to use those same colors. So I'm using the pink, the orange, the blue, the teal, and then also a white, uh, the black. And I am going to also use a little bit of a silver glitter. Um, and for this first nail, this ring finger, I'm just going in and kind of doing like a slight tiger stripe. Um, so just going in from both sides, just going back and forth. Um, and then I'm going to go in and do a little bit of glitter in between the lines as well, because that's what they used to add y'all. They always used to add, um, the little glitter in between the lines as well. So, and I think it just makes everything pop as well. Um, but, and then after that, we're going to go in and the rest of the nails are just really going to be ran. Everything's going to be random. Like whatever comes to mind is what I end up doing with these sets. Um, 
but it still ends up you know really cute so first i usually go in with the white and the black and then i incorporate more colors but it's literally just lines y'all it's so freaking easy you're just going in and just drawing random little lines um and then i'm using my small nail art brush these will be on my website again um so be sure to go check them out and i'll leave the link down below for you guys um because my website will be up super super soon sooner than expected well let me not say that because i've had y'all waiting long enough but it's gonna be they're gonna be on there and then also i go in with my little dotting tool and i feel like the dots just kind of make everything look so much better um so i try to add as many little dots as i can uh whether it's like little dots in a row like this or just random little dots anywhere um but it just like i said it makes the nails look so much so much so much better it just adds that extra little hint to it um but i'm gonna do the same thing on all of the nails so like i said just randomly doing the designs and even though each nail is gonna be different it's still like everything still ties in together um but as you can see right here i'm going in with that silver glitter um just randomly applying that on the nails as well
Alrighty, so now I'm going in with the Madame Glam Gel Top Coat. We're going to apply that on all of the nails. And then we're going to cure each hand for 60 seconds. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final look. They turned out so pretty. And also y'all, I gotta show y'all how she like went all out and did like the whole 90s, 2000s look. They just look so good. So as you can see y'all, I'm loving her hair. Definitely goes perfect with the nails. But as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram at getnail32 and I'll see you guys next time.